Hey, what's going on? Anthony back with Metal Miners Music. Sounds professional, don't it? Listen to that, man, in the background. Father be foul, crowned in vinificum. The reason why I feel okay in showing y'all that I'm streaming that is because I'm holding it in my hand. You're going to stream stuff. Every now and then you need to buy something, man. I've already showed you guys this one on CD. Uh, I've got the vinyl in. I, I'm a uh, Father Be Foul fan. I'm a Justin Stubbs fan. Uh, fan of all his projects. And Father Be Foul is probably my favorite uh, toss-up. Uh, in case you don't remember, you missed the video where I showed you the CD. Uh, this is a 2022 release. Uh, came out on Everlasting Spew. I actually picked it up. Uh, from Justin's Bandcamp page. Uh, the cover art there is by Kevin Rita. The art on the back is by Justin himself. Death Metal out of Atlanta, Georgia. These guys are a four piece. Let me show you the picture of them. Uh, there they are right there. Justin uh, on this end right there. You're not familiar with that young man? nine tracks a little over 36 minutes of music on this this is their fifth full length um you know he's, he's got several projects as you well know uh, used to be on youtube a lot doesn't do many videos if any anymore but um you know what you're getting into when you get into just and stuff just heavy thick uh great stuff man he's so talented in everything he does check it out if you haven't pick you up a copy um, it actually came, uh, I don't know if this was the only variant that was available on, um, on his band camp. This is called the crown, uh, crown version. It comes in 150 copies, but, um, uh, you know, for those of you guys who like black and I do like black too, but I think you have to get it from everlasting spew and, uh, shipping just kills me. I mean, I'm in Florida, he's in Georgia, so no-brainer for me. Father Be Foul playing in the background. I actually uh, recorded this video once before, but it ran out of uh, ran out of album before I got through running out of talking. So I said, well, I want to show it. So I just uh, redid the video, streamed it to my amp, and that way I can show y'all the actual vinyl too. So all is well that ends well. Before I go any further, listen, I'm not high tech, man. You guys know that. You know these guys say, I want to put something right up here. It's going to be popping up right here. I figured out how to do that, man. And I want to tell y'all about a guy. Everybody knows Pie Face. He's always commenting on videos, but now he's making content. And it's going to pop up right up here. No, right up here. Look. <laughs> Pie Face. Yes. I'm high tech, brother. Simon. I'm trying to give you a shout out, man, the best way I know how. You know, I wrote it on a card so everybody can go check Pie Face out. You'll love him, man. He's, he's a great guy. Uh, cheer him on. Hopefully he does some more videos. We'd love to see him. Speaking of the VC, uh, the first thing I want to show y'all is Josh Keach's Warrior in the Clouds Part 1. I got this off of Josh's uh, band camp as well there is the art uh, I think Josh must have did that art himself but no nothing I can find in here about the art but uh, my copy is signed right there Josh you need to get you one of those fancy autographs like a like a doctor or a lawyer or something I got number 17 out of 40 this was uh, independently released by Josh you come on CDR there's the back cover with the track listings. Uh, actually says JJK Records. Um, I imagine that's Josh Keach. I'm just uh, assuming, making a big assumption. Uh, Josh, video maker in the VC, guitar wizard um, out of Bedford, England. Uh, six tracks on this. Uh, he's got a drummer on here named Kim Allen. Uh, another guy named Alfie Allen playing bass on here. 
Uh, it's instrumental for the most part. It does have a spoken word part on one track, maybe a sound bite. I can't remember the spoken word is what it's saying on the, the liner notes. Uh, this is guitar driven here, baby. It's all instrumental. It's Josh showcasing his, showcasing his talents as a guitarist. Uh, do yourself a favor and do Josh a favor too. Go on his band camp site, pick you up a copy of this bad boy. Uh, and check out the excellent musicianship by this very talented young man. You'll be glad you did. He's going to continue on his musical journey this year, hopefully, and uh, put out, it says part one, maybe there'll be a part two, or if not, just a full length, standalone full length. Can't wait to see what you're going to do, Josh. You've got our support, brother. Anything we can do to help you, man, we'll do it. All right, I've got, uh, let's see, two albums and two cassettes I want to show you guys. Uh, one more shout out. Shout out to Macho Records, home of Brain Bath. Killing it, brothers. You're killing it. We appreciate y'all. Keep up the good work. All right, first cassette. Jesus Wept. The name of this one is Psychedelic G Degeneracy. Uh, this is an EP. Uh, came out 2022 redefining darkness did the CD and vinyl this cassette version is gurgling gore big daddy gore did this one this baby blue uh, looking cassette plain on one side got the black writing on the other side super stuff death metal out of Detroit Michigan cover art there is by Ben Danino I think is how you say it these guys see the I think it's a five piece one two three yeah five piece on here I didn't even write the tracks down uh, y'all have to forgive me I usually always do that but um one two three four there's the track listing right there man i, I made up some write-up sheets just for this stuff man and uh you know my own write-up sheets i made up and i didn't fill it out i'm sorry i'm sorry check it out though if you haven't uh there if you uh if you want to check it out and you haven't there's your freebie go to gurgling gore and pick you up a copy super stuff uh, it's it's got a heavy guitar tone that falls somewhere between thrash and death metal. It's got a thrashy style vocal. It's it's really energetic. Uh, just good stuff. Good stuff. I think it was Liam that that showed this, and I've been seeing it and been seeing it, and uh, available at several uh, uh, different distros. I'm pretty sure, but Jesus wept psychedelic degeneracy pick you up a copy if you haven't if you're quick enough to get that download code you can get you a digital copy but by all means go the next step and buy the cassette troll cave the name of this one is rotted remnants of rotted remnants dripping into the void that art there is by necrofilm or Necro Helm, I should say. There you go. This is a 2022 release on a Gurgling Gore. Picked up a couple cassettes from him. Came in a few days ago. There's the uh, two guys and Gal. I think she plays the guitar, if I'm correct. Funeral Doom. Uh, slash death doom out of Spain I would say it's more in the line of death doom every now and then they fall down into the funeral doom pace but I mean it just comes right back up out of it. it's not a funeral doom album by any means so don't let the, that deter you if you're not into funeral doom but it is slower it, it does plod along uh, it's death doom it's simplistic muddy plods along vocals way back in the cave you know the guitars and drums are up front 
uh, taking center stage with an occasional sprinkling in of some scents just to keep everything interesting. But um, I really enjoy it. They've been at it since 2021 and I had an EP uh, last year as well. And then this, I've got the EP on the way. I finally found me a copy, uh, but I picked this one up at Gurgling Gore super stuff this one's pretty well hot off the press i think this came out uh in december so get you a copy if you have a troll cave you'd be glad you did 100 copies on the purple with the uh white writing and then there's 100 copies on a white shell with purple writing i believe so take your pick if you quick on the draw but they don't stay long now i've got uh two records i want to show you uh, the first one, I actually um, showed you guys this one on cassette when I got it when it first came out. Uh, but I finally picked me up a copy uh, on vinyl, and that is Fenocrist. And the name of this EP is Explosions. Uh, this is a 2021 Blood Harvest release. Uh, there's the back cover. If you're not familiar with these guys, this is Death Metal out of Portugal. Uh, the cover art there is by DS, the guitarist, guitarist and vocalist on here. Uh, you, four piece, you get five tracks on here, a little over 23 minutes of music. There is the track listing there on the back. You can read the track listing and tell what you get into. It's a, it's a volcano themed uh, album. Uh, it's it's all about the death and destruction that comes with an uh, uh, not death but the doom and destruction that comes during an eruption of a volcano. Uh, they build that atmosphere into the music. It's just heavy, mid pace for the most part. Super music, um, just a great release. Super art as well. Let's see. I think this one came with a inner. Yeah, kind of dark. Can't really tell what's going on there. And of course you get the lyrics there on the back. Um, great stuff. Of course with Blood Harvest. You know you get this uh, this strip here. There's the guys. And if you're quick enough, there is you a download code that you, you can redeem at band camp and of course there's some other blood harvest releases super stuff Fenocrist. if you haven't heard from those guys or heard of those guys uh, that's good stuff that's their only release to date hopefully this year will bring a full length come on black vinyl death metal from portugal portuguese death metal and super stuff at that last but not least is one that um, I think everybody was really excited about last year when they got it in their hand. They had a full length out the year before that was just incredible. Uh, but I think this one uh, is actually a step up if you can believe that. And I'm talking about uh, Dream Unending. And the name of this one is Song, or not Song, Song of Salvation. Uh, that cover art is by Benjamin. Beerling. This is a 2022 release on 20 bucks spin. Just outstanding. Um, if you look on Metal Archives, uh, this is classified, and I don't know who uh, coined this term, but it's classified as atmospheric doom uh, or death doom, whatever you want to call it. It's a two-piece out of U one member out of U.S. of the U.S. one member out of Canada. Of course, you got uh, Justin Detore. I think you say it's Detore or Detour, however you say it, from Innumerable Forms, which had a full length out uh, last year as well. Uh, and he plays drums and does the vocals on here. And then you got Derek Vela from Tomb Mold and Outer Heaven, guitars and bass. Uh, they brought in some guest musicians. Uh, you even got some trumpet piano on here with those guests. And then they've got some guest vocalists as well. Uh, 
just absolutely stellar album in every way from the packaging the presentation comes with that full size poster uh, that 20 bucks spin has got where they're putting in with their releases uh, they're they're pushing the death doom genre boundary a little bit further that's where you get that atmospheric doom sound um, uh, this one's a journey man you need to sit down and just soak this thing in superb superb um, can't say enough good things about it you get five tracks on here uh, 43 and a half minutes of music somewhere along there just uh, well worth your time go to 20 bucks spin and pick you up a copy of this you will be so glad that you did uh, this one uh, I'm getting to be like my friend Roger I opted for the black the black man the black all right if you haven't checked out Cody's new video the boys messing around playing with some of that technology he called me the other day and told me he was messing with a green screen. I said, man, I don't know what a green screen is. I know about black coffee. I know about brown sugar. Uh, I got red bugs, blue balls, but never no green screen, man. I don't know what you're talking about, cuz. But he uh, he's trying to figure it out. I watched his video and he's almost got it figured out. It kind of messes up a little bit when he goes to show his vinyl because of the screen in the back kind of wants to bleed through. But uh, He's gonna figure it out when he does, it's gonna be spectacular and I don't look for him to show me how to do it. You know, I'm still doing things the old way, you know, like this, but uh, I get it done, baby, I get it done. Thank y'all for watching. Looking forward to 2023 with you guys. We appreciate it. See ya.